In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a WooCommerce category discount in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is head over to WooSuite.com and go ahead and download and install the dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin. I'll leave the links in the description below. Once you've done so, head over to your WordPress dashboard. Go ahead and navigate to plugins, add new, go ahead and install and activate the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here. You want to navigate down to dynamic pricing rules. And once you've done so, we're going to head over to the categories tab. So we've got two options as well when, when it comes to setting up our category discount. So this is a basic version. So we can go ahead and say we want to enable um, a category, category discount for our music category. And we can set this to a price-based discount or um, a percentage-based discount. So price-based meaning we can say you can get $5 off each individual item you purchase within this category. Or we can say you can get a fixed percentage discount of the entire category. So in this case, we can say you can get 25% off our music, off any products within our music category. So, so let's go ahead and save changes. And then we want to navigate. Okay, so that's saved successfully. So we want to navigate to our music category. Okay, and here we've got this notification informing us that there's a promotion going on of 25% of all products within this category. So here we can already see that the prices have been discounted and we've got this sales badge also. So this was um, $15 before. Now with our sales um, promotion enabled, now we can get it for $11.25. So if I was to disable this promotion and then refresh the page, then this should go back to $15. So let's refresh. And we can see it's no longer on sale. We've got this sales badge here because we're actually running an individual um, sale promotion on this product only. So that's why we've got a sales badge there. Okay, so this is um, running a promotion, a category based promotion um, in the simplest form. So we can take it a step further. We can go to the advanced rules here. Okay, and let's hit add category pricing. And then for the admin title, we can give it give our campaign an internal name just for easy reference. Okay, and then here where it says quantity based on, we can select um, based on the individual items that a user adds to their cart within this category or the sum total of this category. So I'm going to hit sum total. And we can create, so we can get super creative here. We can say, um, buy two item in our hoodies category and then when you purchase um, one item in our accessories category we'll give you 15% off um, or you can say um, buy more than two items from our hoodies category and we'll give you 10% off so let me show you how you'd do that last example that I just said so here where it says category count, so this is the category in which you're gonna trigger this promotion. And then where it says categories to adjust, this is where the discount's gonna be applied. So in this case, if we're saying spend more than two items in the hoodies category to get 15% um, off, so we will say um, count items in the hoodies category and adjust the discount to items within the hoodies category. Hope that makes sense. And then applies to, we get to choose who we want this um, discount to apply to. So we can set it to everyone, guest users, which are logged out users, specific user role, or first time buyers. And there's also another option for um, a specific user as well. It's not showing on my version because I'm using an older one. So on your version, you'll see the option to target a specific user. Okay, so I'm going to set it to everyone and then here where it says bulk, so, sorry, where it says rule processing mode, I'm going to select um, bulk because we want to say if a user spent um, adds more than two item to their cart. So to say two and above, we will use the asterisk sign and then we can say they will get a percentage discount of 15% or it could be a fixed percent sorry a fixed price off or um, a fixed um, price discount as well 
okay so that's how you do this offer here so to show this working let's quickly um, save this because I want to show you one more example and then let's add two of the same items so theoretically this should be $90 right if we add in two of these items but here you can see we're actually getting it for $76.50 and that's because the 20% is being applied so let's go ahead and remove this from cart and we're going to change this discount as well so we're going to say if they buy an item if they buy two items two hoodies from the hoodies category then we're going to give them a discount if they purchase an additional items from our accessories category so this is how we do this so we'll say um we'll give it a name as well give it an internal name so by two fifty percent so again this is just for internal purposes so just to go over it again um, let's go ahead and select um, cart line item again so the trigger is they need to purchase items in a hoodies category and they'll get a discount within the accessories category again we'll set this rule to apply to everyone and then here for the processing mode we'll select special offer so I think we skipped over dates as well. So dates is if you want to schedule this um, campaign to, so you'd add the start date here and obviously the end date and it will run um, when the start date's triggered and finish off when the end date's triggered as well. So this is a special offer discount. So we say purchase two items within the hoodies category and you'll receive, and you'll receive a discount on one item of, it's a percentage discount of 50% and then we'll set this to not repeating so if they keep adding more um, items we won't keep giving them the 50% so this 50% will only ever apply to um, one item so we'll go ahead and save changes and then let's visit our accessories category but first we will add two items from our hoodies category okay so that's one two okay dude. okay it's still loading okay two so here since we um, turned off the previous discount you can see now that we have to pay ninety dollars right we're paying full price however um, now when we're in this accessories category if we purchase an accessory so this is ninety dollars um, so theoretically we should get this item for $45 so let's see if that's the case and here you can see the 50% is applying it to um, the item within the accessories category so that's why we're getting that 50% discount there so you can be super creative so that's just a few um, campaigns you can run based on um, the category so another one, let me just quickly show you another one. Um, we can select some. And then let's say, for example, we'll stick to the hoodies category. Let's say if we wanted to do like a bonded discount, right? Based on a category, we could select for the processing mode. We will select bonded discount. And then here we can say um, buy free hoodies uh, for $90, right? So it's a fixed amount. And here we can just name this free. Okay, seeing as we've already added it, let's go ahead and save this and then let's check it out. Okay, that's saved fine. So now we're in our hoodies category and we've already got um, two hoodies in our cart. Let's remove this one as well, just to make the math simpler. Okay, so we've got two hoodies for $90. And now if we add a third hoodie, the price should still be $90, right? So there you can see the total. We're getting three hoodies for $90. And that's how you create a WooCommerce category discount in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.